Hi, Timothy Youngert here. In this video, I want to take a look at the Graviton text editor, which is a text slash code editor written in Electron. Uh, this is the welcome screen when you boot up Graviton. Uh, you'll see I have a recent project that I was working on, and I can open a folder. I'm going to click open a folder, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and let's just create a folder here. Let's call it YT test for uh, YouTube test. And I'll just move this up and click OK. OK. And so that's going to open up a folder. Now you'll see here I have uh, a terminal showing. I can close that out, but you can run a terminal within Graviton. Uh, let's create a new file. So let's create a new HTML file. Let's call it index.html. And I'll show you that if I do an exclamation point and hit a tab, you'll see that it does have Emmet built into it. Okay, so we can go ahead and let's test out this Emmet completion. So let's do h1 plus p plus ul with five list items in there. And then um, what we'll do is We'll have an anchor tag within that. And I'm going to hit tab and it expands it. And you see here that we actually can fold the code as well. So it has good co code folding, which is nice. Um, let's see what else we can do. So we've got, well, we've got a command prompt here. So we can pull up a command prompt and we can go through some of the commands. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we have settings here, okay? So if we click on our settings, we can take a look at some of the keyboard shortcuts. For instance, there's a bunch here. Um, we can take a look at the languages that we want it in. I have it in English. Um, we can take a look at some advanced functions here. Like, do we want to wrap lines? Do we want LS, uh, language server protocol integration? This is experimental in this text editor um, and you know you can see a little bit about it we'll go to the website here if we want I'm going to click outside of that to get back to the file you'll see a dot up here if I do control s you'll see that goes away so that's telling me I need to save the file um, we could you know for instance do a link here a link in a style sheet we'll do style.css you'll see that it's highlighting the region here um, let's see if we can just increase the font size. Yep, we can increase the font size easily. Uh, so there the font gets a little bit larger. We can increase and decrease that. You can go down here and change the tab size, which is pretty cool. Let's create a new file. Um, so I'm just going to right click and do new file. There's not a ton of keyboard shortcuts for this, but it's still very nice. So we'll do test.css. Okay, and um, what we can do, we can do a body tag here, and then within the body tag, let's go up and we'll do BGC and hit tab, and it gives me the Emmet abbreviation for background color, so I could change that to whatever color I want. Let's say uh, E6, 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 and save it. You notice the dot goes away again. Um, Supports JavaScript. If I do a PHP file, let's do a PHP file. So we'll do a new file. We'll call it index.php. Now with PHP, you can write a lot of HTML in the PHP file and then include PHP tags. So let's just try an Emmet abbreviation for an HTML framework, which is common in a PHP file. And then let's see, does that give us anything? No, it doesn't really give us an auto closing uh, PHP tag. But nonetheless, this is a pretty nice little editor here. Um, if I was working on WordPress PHP, I might increase the tab size to, uh, it's not doing quite what I think it was supposed to do. Okay, that looks like it increased the font size instead. Uh, well, maybe there's another place I can increase the tab size. So let's take a look. Let's look at this panels function here. Uh, let's do a new panel. 
see what happens there. Okay, so there's still some stuff. I'm not really sure what that does. Um, we have an explorer prompt. We have a window. We can zoom in. We can do a debugger here, um, which is a small debugger. But uh, if we, there's nothing really to debug here. But uh, we see the status is stopped. But we could start it. We could reload, stop. We could close. I'll just close it out. We have some help here. So there's, let's see, is there a contact? Nothing yet here. But we have a Telegram and Discord for social to get some help on it. Uh, you can check for updates here, report a bug, look at the source code. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff here. We could do, um, let's do a new file. Let's do a script.js file. Okay, so we're creating a JavaScript file, and let's say const, and you see it, it italicizes a keyword there. So const, um, uh, I don't know, we'll say something like heading one equals document dot query uh, selector. I don't know, we'll do maybe like an H h1 right i don't know uh but yeah you know so and then we save it and we could write some javascript with this um now there it look i think right now there are two default themes so let me go through here and go to tools settings um customization yeah right here Okay, so we have it. I have it on night, but if I click on day, you'll see for those people who like the lighter theme, this is a very nice light theme. Has a status bar similar to VS Code in the lighter one. Uh, I'm going to change it back to the dark theme. So let's go back here to uh, where were we? Tools, settings, tools, and settings. Okay, and we'll change it back to the night. Okay, um, let's close that out. So yeah, this is a pretty cool text editor. Let's take a look. We'll just do a little Google search for it, Graviton text editor. And you'll see they have this web website, graviton.netlify.app. And you can go here. And then I'm running a Chromebook with Debian installed. But uh, yeah, you, so you can take a look. Uh, home blog. We can go download it um, with Debian 11 with a Chromebook. I did have to install a couple additional libraries. It was saying it wasn't installing properly. Um, I'm going to write a blog post on this text editor. Uh, I will leave a link to my blog website, and I'll actually put it on the screen here. Uh, it's basically Uncrit Media, but you'll see it pop up on the screen here. Uh, so you can go to uncritmedia.com. I'll have a post. You can search for the post about the Graviton editor. So I'm going to be doing that shortly. Um, there's about 53 posts on that blog if you want to check it out, shameless plug. Anyways, so the Graviton editor, it's an alternative to VS Code and Atom. If you want to use an Electron editor, I do have to say the Electron editors, the performance isn't like what you'd see on Vim or Emacs, but they do look very nice and they do provide some very nice features like the built-in Emmet uh, in Graviton is, is very, very good. Um, so that's, if you're writing a lot of HTML, it might be a text editor that you want to try. The other thing with Graviton, one last thing I'll show you. If we create, if you're doing Markdown, um, create a new file. Let's just call it test.markdown here. And I do like a first level heading. Look at how big that is. <laughs> So this, this text editor does has, have some interesting markdown support. If I do a second level heading, you see it gets a little bit uh, smaller, okay? And let's see, I don't know, do a link. You get some nice highlighting there. Uh, Google, so what is that? HTTPS forward slash forward slash Google. If I can spell this right, Google dot com okay so that's how it highlights your links um let's see if it images uh let's see image 
I don't know, the alt text is going to be an image and I'll just put some something here. I think it, the highlighting is pretty much the same as the link. So whole point is this is a cool uh, electron editor that is out there. I don't think a lot of people know about it. I've been aware of it since about 2020. Um, but yeah, so it's been around for a little bit. Um, you know, give it a try. It's, uh, I think it's free and open source. I haven't been, let's, let's check. Let's make sure. Let's go here. Yep. Uh, open source and free. So free and open source worth giving it a shot. There's no real you know, downside to, uh, giving it a try. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like as it'll help get out to more people and more people will learn about Graviton, which is an excellent little editor. Uh, and I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.